pay far more. Jim Burley lives in Brooklyn and his thoughtful piece about men faking orgasms is now available on your favorite newsstand. Goodbye, that teen monster. I got a big green donut for courage. Jim Burley is turning 40. Where are my virgins at? I can feel death's icy reach around. As I was writing the E and the R on gold graffiti, the petite monster got me. I wrote your name across my penis. It's a short name. <laughs> For 2013, I'm going to experiment with rhyming and poems starting tomorrow. Also, instead of walking down Hipster Wet Dream Bedford Avenue ever again, I'll take oddly dignified Driggs Ave from now on. <laughs> Frost on Gina Meyer's peaches. I pitch better in the odd numbered years. There are bitches on the roof. I forgot to set the boys up. These poems could be your life, but don't worry, I'm with you now, ripped for everyone's pleasure. This has been the lamest end of the world yet. Local moms need cock. Wear pants to church. I can't decide which Instagram filter adequately expresses my dismay. Possibly toaster. <laughs> Shine on affordably like this cubic zirconium. I don't want to be on a year of best of list. I just want to be in your poems. My package is always suspicious. Best sexy tumblers. Don Draper's dick descends dramatically. <laughs> the woods are lovely, dark and deep, but get the hell off me because I want to sleep. I walk by Peter Luger's steakhouse every day and think to myself, if I stop moving around, these people will eat me. <laughs> get well soon, future President Lincoln. Now I'll never be on the cover of Newsweek. Cliff, I'd love to live on a been impaled at the bottom of the fiscal fjord for years. <laughs> Enjoy it. I have robots that roam the skies. People keep telling me I look like Shakespeare. But here we are a poetry project, mostly getting along. I poured Pepsi on a tree for Ted Berrigan, but it was the wrong tree. Do you think the petite monster wanted to be this way? Lurking just outside in the cold, waiting for you to step out for a cigarette? I resolve in 2013 not to read your novel. I have 20 vulvas to live with. Wow. <laughs> when I meet a new poet, I ask them, will you still be a poet in 10 years? Crowded into an apartment the size of a vagina and waiting for the pink radiation to clear the streets. The pizza tastes kind of puby without you. And what shall become of Le Monst? We all have problems. My girlfriend, I mean my therapist, is on vacation. And all my friends are leaving New York. Not really leaving, just having babies. I read the tweeest poems in the weest hours. <laughs> <laughs>